is the Ace of Swords. Aces are about the potential for new beginnings. So what this tells me is that this time period is one that's really going to be changing how you think about your love life. It's going to be really important to you to get to the truth. I mean, that's what this sword is for. It's about cutting away and getting to the truth of a situation. Now, this may be the truth about what you want from your love life. It may be the truth of how you feel about someone, the truth about how someone feels about you. If you're in a relationship, you may want to discover some truths within that relationship. I mean, this, it makes sense. I mean, we just had a new moon in Aquarius. Aquarius is your sister sign. So it doesn't surprise me that this would be a period where discovering the true meaning or meanings behind feelings and um, relationships and just how you go about things within your love life is a huge factor for you. And it also makes more sense when we look at the card that's at the heart of your reading. And that is the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is a card about making difficult decisions. And typical Libra, you guys don't make any decisions without weighing up the pros and cons or, you know, balancing out what is going on there. I have um a Libran mother and a Libran sister. And something I learned very early on in my life is never go shopping with a Libra because they weigh up the pros and cons of just buying like a pair of shoes or something, or, you know, if they're in just getting groceries. So this is your love life. So that's going to take a little bit more balancing out and weighing up of the pros and cons. But it feels like you're doing that. Now, the Two of Swords, it can be about like two conflicting ideas, conflicting positions. This can even show like conflict and arguments with another person where two sets of ideas or beliefs kind of clash against each other. I'm not really seeing that here. I'm not really seeing conflict with another person, although that is going to be the case for some of you. I think for most of you, this is going to be internal. This is going to be you having to decide something. That may be something that you've let go on for a while now. Now I'm saying that and I was getting something that just kind of flashed through to me that some of you don't need to make a decision. I know that sounds ridiculous considering that the Two of Swords is there. I'll explain a little bit. The card that comes up at the heart of your reading, it's what concerns your love life during that period. It's what does your love life revolve around? What's the idea that it revolves around? Now, it doesn't actually have to be a real thing. It can be something that we are thinking about or something that we aspire to. Now, I don't think you're aspiring to make a difficult decision about something, but I do feel that with you, Libra, like you're putting pressure on yourself to make a decision about something. But with that Ace of Swords there, it feels like maybe you don't have all the facts yet or you're trying, that's, I think that's more important, getting to the truth of something or figuring out what's going on and that's going to change how you think about something. Sorry, that sounds really vague, but that's kind of what I'm getting with that Ace of Swords and the Two of Swords. Because if we look at this, uh, if we look at the image on this card, we see this guy, he's kind of almost puzzling out and deciding what his next move will be. I mean, we don't even know if it's his turn yet that, you know, and he's already worrying about, you know, what's my next move going to be? I don't know, all you chess players out there are thinking, well, that's what you're supposed to do, but this is a love life. It's not a chess game. So I'm going to actually come back to this card in just a little bit but let's move on to the past energy for now we have the queen of wands coming up here now this may have been someone that you were dealing with whether they identify as male or female they could be a fire sign which would be an aries leo or sagittarius but i mean that placement could be anywhere in their birth chart so i always say to go more by the energies of the card rather than the star sign that it kind of may um, be related to the energies of the Queen of Wands is someone who's very charismatic. Um, she's very passionate, very attractive. Wands are all about passion, creativity, energy. I also find the, um, the King and Queen of Wands, they're very kind of entrepreneurial kind of energies. Like I said, this could be someone that you dealt with in the past. Or this could have been how you were feeling, that you had more passion and fire and energy for your love life some of you feel like you're kind of burnt out maybe some of you if, if you're in relationships you're feeling like the fun has gone even if you're single maybe the fun has gone out of dating maybe the fun has gone out of like you know looking for love and that's kind of an awful thing to say 
to a Libra especially, because you guys are all about love. But your ruling planet is getting ready to go retrograde. Um, I think it's next month. So it may be now, even especially with that Ace of Swords card coming up as an underlying energy, that you're less about um, putting out energy and putting out that passion and drive when it comes to your love life and more about going internally and, you know, thinking about things, thinking about what you're doing, planning. Ace of Swords isn't just about our thoughts though. It's also about how we communicate those thoughts and it often indicates a victory as well. So it kind of feels like you are trying to, like you want a win. Who doesn't want a win in their love life? That's what we all want. No one loves to lose. We love to win. But this time it's different. It's like you're really putting some thought behind this. Maybe you've met someone or you're with someone that you really don't want to lose. You really want this to work. And you're kind of being very introspective and figuring out not just, you know, the role that they play within the relationship, but the role that you play within the relationship as well. It feels like a lot of analysis and thought going into your love life right now. You know, that kind of feeling of like, you know, what have I been doing? What have I been? Have I been presenting myself in my love life? Have I been communicating? So maybe all those thoughts and ideas, as you're kind of perusing them, as you're going over them, maybe the two of swords doesn't indicate a choice. Maybe it's just the weighing up of all this, but it's not easy. I mean, that's the whole energy of the two of swords. It's uneasy. It's sometimes things that we don't want to look at. So you might be forcing yourself to look at things. In the present, we have the emperor. This is sometimes considered another fire sign energy because can be seen as um, an Aries. But I feel like for some of you, I mean, this can be someone that you're dealing with. Someone who's very stubborn, kind of my way or the highway. He likes to take charge. He makes all the decisions and he can be kind of, you know, sometimes he can be difficult to reason with because he only knows how to do things one way, his way. So he's not very good at compromising. This is the boss card. This is the father card. This is the authority figure. The emperor is always the authority figure. And yeah, for some of you, that is going to be someone that you're dealing with. You're dealing with this kind of difficult energy. Um, and I say difficult. Some of, I mean, he, he's not always difficult. The emperor gets a bad rep. Sometimes he can be great. Like he can, he looks after things. He's the one that steps up and makes a plan and decides, okay, we're going to do this. He takes care of people. So he's not always difficult. But sometimes he can come across as difficult when, you know, you're trying to reason with him or trying to get him to see a different way of doing things. So, yeah, this may be someone that you're dealing with. But I think for a lot of you, this is going to be your energy. And the reason I say that is because of that Ace of Swords that sits above it. I'm getting that distinct thing of um of Libran saying that, you know, I'm not going to let my love life just happen to me from now on. So it's wanting to take charge, wanting to be in control of your love life because sometimes the emperor shows up when we need to be in control when we need to make more decisions when we need to be the ones who are in control of things and sometimes it's not even when we need to we we feel the need to and sometimes that's the same thing because the only experiences we'll ever know are those that we see through our own eyes are those that we experience ourselves so if we think it how different is that from whether that's the reality or not? We make it our reality by, I mean, I'm not, that's not a law of attraction thing. It's if I think, for example, if I think you are untrustworthy, then you are untrustworthy because I do not trust you. So that makes you untrustworthy. Now, the reality is you may be the most honest person that there is, but my experience of you is that you are untrustworthy. So I will not trust you. So that makes you untrustworthy. If that makes sense. That's why I always tell people it's very important to know why we think what we think and, you know, why we feel what we feel, because it's not just about manifesting or putting those emotions or ideas out there. The fact that we feel it, the fact that we think it, that makes it true for us. But the whole point of this, with that Ace of Swords there, I think the Emperor is a great person to wield that sword. Just don't be too harsh, Libra. Um, get to the truth. I mean, I think you will. I think it's going to be very empowering to have this emperor energy around at the moment. And the present, it is like for the most of this phase will be that will, this is the energy that you will feel for the most of um, this first half of February. But with like Valentine's coming up and, um, you know, with this being quite romantic, considered quite a romantic month, you have a distinct lack of romantic cards in this reading. It really feels like Libra's like, you know, 
I am not messing around anymore. I want to know what's going on. I'm going to fix this. I'm going to sort this out. I'm going to get to the truth of the matter. It feels like Libra is on a mission. But I would say don't make any decisions just yet, even though that Two of Swords is there, because that's a difficult choice you're making right now. But I think there are details and there is information and there are ways of you thinking that are going to change. And that's going to make this, um, it's going to make it easier to make whatever decisions you need to make. This is going to be fact finding, information finding, um, just figuring out what it is that you think and how you think about things. Sometimes we can have an idea about someone. Um, we can have an idea of the kind of love life we want, that I want this kind of a relationship. And that can change because we change all the time with any luck. Some people don't. And that's, I think, one of the saddest things ever. But if we're always growing, if we're always changing, then our dreams and our goals change. But because we've always thought that, oh, we want this, we kind of cling to that and then we get we get it and it's very unsatisfying. So maybe that's what's happened to you, Libra, that you've kind of been getting. I don't even think that, actually, but with that Queen of Wands energy, it feels like you've been doing something. You've been trying to put out this passion, trying to put out this drive and this energy. And either you've not been happy with the results that you've get, you're getting or you're just tired of being that way and you want something different now. That's fair enough. So the reason I was saying don't make a decision just yet is because we have the justice card in the future. Justice is your card, Libra. That is your card. And we see the scales here and it sits directly under that two of swords. So whatever information you get from that ace of swords energy combined with that drive and kind of resolute nature of the emperor, I feel like it's going to give you the information to balance those scales, to get the information that you need. Now, you may not even need to make a decision with the justice card there. It may be that scales get balanced and you receive justice. You receive whatever it is that you're looking for. The message from the justice card is that justice is served via the truth. The truth is revealed. The truth comes about. And, you know, whoever is righteous, whoever or whatever is the the righteous path or the righteous decision, that is the one that gets made. So if you've been looking for some kind of decision, that is there in the future. And for some of you, I don't even feel like you're going to have to decide. I feel like, or, you know, the situation becomes so apparent that no decision or no difficult decision is even necessary. Things are revealed to you so clearly. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, let me try and explain. I mean, well, like with that two of swords energy, that's you having to decide something like you don't want to. You might be afraid to get hurt. You might be afraid to hurt the other person. You might be afraid what you making that decision, what the consequences will be of that. But with justice there, it's a major arcana card. So um, the major arcana cards, those are life changes. Those are things that happen to us. We do live in a free will state. So, you know, we can always decide what we want and what we don't want. But that doesn't change the fact that fate does play a role in our lives too. So with justice, this is something that happens in our lives. And I feel like whatever this energy is that's coming up in the future, it's going to make things a lot easier for you and a lot clearer. So don't put pressure on yourself right now to make any kind of choices or decisions. Just hold on, hold, just hold your horses for a little while because I think things are going to get clearer. Now, I've been telling everyone this, the reason the future card comes up because it doesn't usually play out within the time span of the reading. It's usually what is shown as a potential future for after that. And I feel like it's there to keep you on your path, to give you hope or to show you that if you continue on this path, if things continue like this, this is what is the most likely outcome. When it's a card that you don't want, you can change that. You can change the outcome. There's no future is written in stone. So you can change what's going to come up there. When it's something like this, it can give you that hope. It can give you that stability to continue doing what you're doing and knowing that you're on the right path. The crowning energy though, which is the last card, is different because I feel like this is the card that, this is the energy that you carry with you as you hit the end of this phase or, you know, the middle of the month in this case. It's how to get what you want, the energy that, you know, what's driving you what are you pursuing? What's your focus on? And we have the Eight of Pentacles here. And I feel like this is, it's the opposite of the Emperor energy because this is the apprenticeship card. So if we look here, there's almost like a, a spiritual, um, 
message in the depiction here where we see some kind of like guru or a, like a Buddhist teacher inducting a disciple or a student into teachings and that's kind of like where I feel that you will be that you'll be using the information that you've been gathering the way that you your thoughts have changed during this um, period and that's going to allow you to know where to focus what to do and the thing with this eight of pentacles it is about focus work it's about doing oh and you know i hate using the word work when it comes to love lives but the truth is we are always working on ourselves we're always working on our relationships we're always working on how we start new relationships how we go forward in our love lives and the feeling that i'm getting here is that this is going to show you or you'll have a very clear idea by the middle of the month on what areas of your love life are worth working on what areas or what even what areas need work so if you're in a relationship if there have been problems and you haven't really been able to identify what those problems are i feel like you'll have a better idea by the middle of the month if you're single and you can't figure out why you're single or why you keep meeting the wrong guy i feel like that's going to get clearer as well and that's why when you have the justice card as in the future i feel like once you're at that stage of the eight of pentacles you can balance the scales with justice i mean you you then have that opportunity you ha then have that energy coming in externally to support you making the changes that you need to bring to your love life to balance those scales and also that eight of pentacles it sits underneath the queen of wands no experience no energy expended nothing is ever wasted it feels like whatever experience or whatever you was learned from your queen of wands phase or having or dealing with the queen of wands energy that comes in handy as well when you're going through this eight of pentacles energy of working on things and focusing on what needs to be fixed and how you can fix it now one of the reasons i kept saying to you like hang on don't make a decision just yet or because of your oracle cards the first one that i have for you is from the romance angels deck and it is trust and the card says, this situation is calling for you to have faith. I'll move straight on to the other one and then talk about them together because they both have very similar messages. The card from the Whispers of Love Oracle deck is number 17, have patience. And the card says, love is patient and kind always. I feel like the messages are kind of interchangeable. They're very similar. So if you're, I mean, if you trust, if you trust something that is very similar to having patience if things are not clear right now don't force yourself to make any decisions don't don't try to make two ideas like go up against each other if you don't know if you don't know what's going on wait until you have that information you will have that information because you have that ace of swords energy coming in 